adventure. Right, this is the adventure today. We are at the Pretty Place, which is also called uh, the Fred W. Sims Chapel. So when you're putting it in Google Maps, um, I just put in, oh, my light went off. What happened here? I just put in the pretty place, but it also comes up as the Fred W. Sims Chapel. I'll, I know what's going on with my light, sorry. Uh, but I'll, we'll have a detailed guide uh, and I'll leave a link in the description. So if you want all the details that I'm way too cold to think of right now, check that out. It'll take care of you. Um, here a little bit early because I'm, I'm here for the sunrise. Apparently this is a pretty epic sunrise view. As you can see behind me with that cross, it's, it's looking pretty epically photogenic. Um, so here pretty early since I've never been here before. I only get one chance. I like to come to places nice and early, set up, stage all my gear, and be ready for when the sun comes up. Because once it starts coming up, it's over before you know it. Uh, but this chapel, it's just a beautiful open air chapel. It has a roof, but the sides are open. And uh, obviously that there's no wall there and it's right on a cliff. So it's like very uh, scenic and very beautiful. So I'm excited to watch the sunrise here in a very beautiful spot, a beautiful part of the world and happy to share it with you too. Also, this is just under five hours from Fayetteville. So like not great for a day trip. Uh, it's a pretty long drive, especially if you do want to see it at sunrise or sunset. Um, but I stayed at a really awesome log cabin nearby. It was only like 15 minutes from here. So easy to get here at that early time of the morning. And I'll leave a link in the description for that as well. Okay, sunrise is all over. Hopefully I got enough footage. A few people came and I don't like to interrupt uh, when people are having a, a moment in these uh, places we travel to as well. So hopefully I got enough footage to show you. I definitely got some photos, but it's absolutely one of the most beautiful places you could see for sunrise. I'm so happy I got to see it. It was so beautiful. Even though it's a chapel, like I don't think, oh, sorry, I'm shaking, it's so cold. Um, even though it's a chapel, I don't think you have to be religious to appreciate how beautiful it is. It's just the epic scenery, epic uh, just views moment. It's it's just a beautiful place to be, just to remind you of like, I know life's a gift and it's very beautiful. <laughs> We're lucky to be here. It's actually been a bit of a stressful start to the year. For me, just a lot going on. I uh, got sick as well. So it's just a bit of a stressful, slow start to the year. And it was nice to come here and just have that reminder, you know, of calm, things are gonna be okay. So I, I really liked it. It's very beautiful. Um, absolutely very cold. You might wanna bring a blanket if you're here in winter. Right, now that I've warmed up, stopping for brunch at this place called Creekside Market and Grill, it's really close to the pretty place. So if you are looking for a place to stop, uh, this is a good option. It's also close to the cabin I mentioned uh, where I'm staying. So it's just a really good location, good little spot. We have our dog here, so we can't sit inside. We ordered our food to go, just waiting on it now. Got a hot chocolate, ready to warm up after the beautiful morning. But yeah, just wanted to share that with you. And there's horses across the road. They're so cute. A few moments later. Oh my God. I've ever told you how much I hate winter. I hate the snow. And I hate being cold. Just hate it all, man. One eternity later. All right, so your day definitely doesn't end after the pretty place, even though you have the early start. There's so much to do in the area to fill your day and even your whole weekend here, if you do turn it into a weekend trip. 
there's just no chance you're going to be sitting around twiddling your thumbs not knowing what to do because there's just so much stuff. You have the DuPont Forest, Pisgah Forest, um, there's just like a lot of, both of those have so much waterfalls, hiking, just outdoor stuff in the area, so a lot of that. It wasn't the best today uh, because, you know, as you can see the snow and everything, it was very icy and it just not the most ideal hiking day, but still very beautiful and I'm, I'm glad I saw it all. Today we just saw um, Hawker Falls, High Falls, we did that hiking loop and uh, a covered bridge there as well, which is like a short spin-off trail. It was really nice though. Um, obviously a bit shorter days in winter, so less time to do everything, but it's nice to come back to the cabin light a fire, relax now after the early start. My battery's gone a bit dead because of the cold, so I'll leave a link in the description for my full guide. Hopefully this inspires you to visit if you're in the North Carolina, South Carolina area. Uh, add this to your list, it's so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. I need to go warm up, it's so cold. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Don't forget, like and subscribe, you know what to do. Okay, bye.